Do some more ancient empires. Found a wolf up here. Opponent is going a little too hard into wood. I'm not sure what he's gonna do with it. We saw so many ranged units. We're gonna put down a mangonel. We gotta grab up these sheep while we can. We are grabbing up these sheep. I've decided to open with two scouts this round. Oh, let's. Oh, are we gonna miss out on this one? Oh man. Oh well. Glad to have you back. Oh, he sneaks that one away from me. God, these sheep are just not going my way. As always, good to have you here. We've got more Age of Empires 4 here. I'm playing as the English this time. The map is Altai, and my opponent is Ament, playing as the Holy Roman Empire. I'm not typically an English player, but I've been noticing really greedy players out there on the ladder, and we want to keep punishing them, so... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play as the English sometimes. I mean, I've really been enjoying the opposite trade wing strategy. I mean, it's a little risky. It is fun though. Uh, English, finally, I get to put on some aggression. I know I'm a pretty passive player. I like to uh, get into the late game, really duke it out, and maybe castle and imperial. But uh, but yeah, why not mix things up a little bit? I have played as the French when I want to play like an aggressive civilization, but English just feel good because you can really get some longbowmen across the map. Uh, outposts are just amazing for this civ. And uh, when we're up against a Holy Roman Empire player, that's when you want to be aggressive. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I don't have some passive... I mean, I guess playing as the opposite would have been nice here. We could have just gone with a... Uh, we could have gone with like a um, camel archer opening and then put down some rams because, I mean, we get siege engineering for free as the opposite. But as English, we want to do damage with our longbowmen as much as we can and from there see what we can accomplish. And we are aging. Well, we're trying to age up here, but my opponent, he has actually already got it. And um, I think... His really fast age up here is a consequence of having, uh, oh, yep, there's all those villagers gathering gold, gathering up food from the sheep, and he's going at it with a lot of villagers. Seven villagers making his Aachen Chapel, and seeing this, the villagers just continuing to mine gold, he's going to go fast castle. It's pretty obvious, so I need to put on some aggression. But look, I haven't even started to age up, and he's nearly a third of the way. Wow, he's actually committing nearly all of his villagers. Look at that. He only has 15 villagers, and he's got 13 of them on the Aachen Chapel. Like, he wants it up ASAP. And I think the reason for this is because he has put it um, within a deer camp, so he can gather a lot of food from these deer thanks to the influence of the Aachen Chapel. However... Because he has concentrated his resource gathering into basically this screen, if I can get some archers on the back end here, some longbowmen, maybe a spearman or two to defend against horsemen, and we get a villager to put down an outpost, we can pretty much deny all of this. The issue is going to be getting there, and his town center is blocking our path directly there, so we're either going to have to slip through this backside or go through here, this gap because there's the town center here and these trees here. So I'm trying to plan out how I'm going to be aggressive here. And you'll notice my opponent has actually never even started gathering wood. Yeah, he's just going for food and gold. If we swap here, okay, now he's getting villagers on uh, wood. We'll see that shortly. No economic upgrades just yet. I mean, he can't get wheelbarrow until he gets some, uh, until he gathers up some wood. I'm going to park a scout here. I'm going to probably bring this other scout around to this gold because I want to deny his gold mining. We don't want him to get gold, and we don't want him to get food. So we're going to want to deny this screen for sure because it's just a bunch of deer and berries. And we'll want to deny over here as well because it's gold and deer. So if it's gold, deer, or berries, we want to be keeping villagers off of it. First of the longbowmen are coming out. We're also going to send a villager out. Um, for putting down outposts and whatnot. And now we're spotting some uh, villagers coming out. And you can see I, I'm rallying to this uh, 
uh, stealth forest, and then we're just going to go to the back of his uh, base. And I'm watching what these villagers are up to. I suspect a wall's coming down. The problem is this is such a small gap. I wasn't able to get my scout in fast enough to um, body block the walls going down. But I know he has to uh, put walls down here. So if I can just body block the walls here, my longbowman will show up and we'll be able to uh, prevent him from putting it down. So here come the villagers. Here comes the wall. Other scout is in position. Body block the wall. Get a longbowman across. And now we'll start attacking. Yep. We'll have the uh, villager put down a barracks. That's to make sure that um, if he makes horsemen, we don't uh, we don't just lose all of our longbowmen to them. Now I have to be careful. I don't want to lose any longbowmen. Don't come close to the town center. Please don't. Okay, good. Backing off. Now we're seeing the villagers on the deer. We're going to peck at them with our longbowmen. Bring the scout forward. Very nice. Don't come too close, longbowmen. Don't come too close. Ooh, that could have been really bad. Yep, there's the arrow fire. We're also going to want to check on the gold. Good, the barracks is down. We can start making spearmen if we see a stables. But instead, we're seeing a barracks. So he's probably just making uh, man at arms. Yep, yep, he's going for the early man at arms. And we just need to deny this location. Yeah, you can see he's rallying villagers out there, but he just can't get anything. So we'll put down a outpost and try to defend this position. Longbowman versus man-at-arms, they do okay. Um, they actually have a pretty good punch. I mean, normal archers don't really do anything versus man-at-arms. But these English longbowmen, they do good work. Look at that. And now we'll just get back to work on the outpost. Additionally, we brought a longbowman over here because we figured we should also check these berries and wouldn't you know it, he's gathering from here. So we snipe down another villager. That's put us at two villager kills. And uh, now we're just going to keep pecking away. We'll probably bring... Oh, yep, and now we've got a longbowman over at his wood line. He misrallies one of his man-at-arms and just dies to my longbowman. And now he has basically nowhere to gather from. Yeah, he can gather here, but he's just going to keep losing villagers. And he can't make it up to the next age. He surrenders. I think he was pretty salty about this loss, but... um. It was just way too greedy. You cannot go that long without getting wood. Bit of a short video, but it was a good match. Hopefully we can get more matchups like this. See you next time.